Oh, there it is. That's the one I want. The green key. Yeah, yeah. We live now? <laughs> yes. All right. Hey, everybody. Happy Sunday. Hopefully, you all are having a wonderful weekend. Excuse me. I had to have a mochi. I was craving it. Is my mic on? Yeah, perfect. Awesome. So let me put all this fun stuff away. That way I can give you back my undivided attention. From my mochi. Dana, do you want a mochi? Oh my gosh. No, I want this cocktail that you're yeah. making. I don't know that anyone needs this cocktail more than Dana. <laughs> <laughs> What are we making today? Okay. So we're just watching you eat mochi. That's not why they tune in, I don't think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure people tune in for weirder stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's probably true. This cocktail today is appropriately 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 named Lazy Sunday Cocktail. Because that is exactly what I wanted to have, and that's exactly what I haven't had. <laughs> so I need one of these more than I want to admit. <laughs> but anyways, uh, we're going to do an awesome kind of a, a grapefruit, uh, herbal, really fresh, light cocktail for you today. Uh, it's a tequila cocktail. But you can also make this with vodka as well. So if you're not, you know, a tequila drinker, it's totally cool. Just use vodka. Uh, everything look good on there? Okay, cool. So if you can make, uh, make sure to uh, let us know that you can hear us and see us, we'll go ahead and jump into um, putting together this fun drink for y'all. Asia McLean is over on Instagram. A Asia McLean is over there? Hi. <laughs> I know. I needed this little piece of mochi right now. So uh, I was dying. <laughs> so anyways hopefully you all have had a wonderful weekend the sun is peeking out and it's beautiful it's gonna if you're not from the northwest it's kind of been on and off weather a little bit but you know that's pretty much normal you have a hundred percent chance of what is it hundred percent chance of the weather changing of weather of weather changing <laughs> that's what we know for sure all right Everybody good? Yes. Awesome. So we're going to start off with the uh, cocktail shaker here. So if you're following along with us, we have some tequila, grapefruit juice. We have cinnamon simple syrup. Mm -hmm. So basically it's the same way that you'd make simple syrup, sugar, water. Toss in a few cinnamon sticks, voila. Uh, now you have cinnamon simple syrup. And we have Our some special. turmeric tea and... The way you make turmeric tea is the same way you'd make regular tea, except for you're just using turmeric. Yep. If you do let this sit, you will find some sediment down at the bottom. And that is mm -hmm. after we strained it, too. So, you know, don't be too surprised there if you got a little, do a little shake. And we're going to top this cocktail off with a little bit of uh, soda water there, Perrier, and uh, garnish it with a nice little uh, grapefruit twist. So, anyways, let's go ahead and jump into this. First thing we're going to do is start with a ounce and a half of tequila. I'll go ahead and there we are. start with that tequila first. This is such a nice bright drink. Yeah, it really is. So we tried this, you know, prior to making it. It was really refreshing. Uh, the it was nice, bright, and then you get like those herbal undertones, which I really, really like. Uh, it's delicious. So I'm, I'm ready for round two. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, next thing we're going to do is do an ounce and a half of uh, grapefruit juice. And what's kind of neat is like, I know you're not a big fan of grapefruit juice, and I am. And yeah. this is very nice. It's not... Um, it's not grapefruity or sour yeah. or bitter at all, which I was really surprised. So when I had this the first time, I actually, Dana made it, and I didn't know that it had grapefruit in it. <laughs> and you all know how I feel about, you know, sour drinks. I'm not a big fan. And I was like, wow, this is really good. So 
if if it's you know one of those households like like ours is where you get one person who likes the grapefruit and the kind of soury stuff, you get one person that doesn't. I think that this is like a really happy medium right in the middle. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a uh, an ounce of our cinnamon simple syrup. Oh, that cinnamon stick's trying to come out. <laughs> I know. I see. It's like hello. What about me? I left them in. You can take the cinnamon sticks out. I left them in because why not? Yeah, why not? And then our turmeric tea. There we are. Now, it's not a whole lot of the turmeric tea. It's only a quarter ounce of it. Turmeric's pretty pungent, mm -hmm. so I wouldn't go too over the top with it, you know, uh, the first go around. We're going to toss in some ice, give this a nice shake, and then strain this out into a cocktail glass. There we are. Perfect. So we'll shake this for about 15 to 20 seconds. A couple happy birthday songs in your head will be pretty cool. <laughs> Everything here as it's open, you know, the uh, all the jars and the bottles are open, you can really get a sense of what this is going to kind of taste like just from the aromas coming from these things. And it is yummy, to say the least. All right. So we're going to go ahead and strain this into our cocktail glass. There we are, tossing some ice. And if people don't have a pretty glass like you have in front of you, what would you suggest what would I they use? Yeah. Oh, if you don't have like a nice little pretty glass like this, um, just go on Amazon and order some. <laughs> there you go. I'm just kidding. If you're not gonna go, if you're not gonna go high, go low. Red solo cup, baby. <laughs> Red solo cup. No, I mean like a highball glass. They oh yeah, use yeah. That. I mean, you know, uh, we're we're talking. This is probably a ten ounce uh, drink here. So I mean, it's it's not a whole lot of liquid, but you know, you could definitely use a uh, a highball glass. You could use all sorts of different glasses. I mean, for me, you know. It's not, I don't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> just, what's, what's inside? There you are. There you are. What's inside <laughs> is what counts. Philly you know is I mean? tuning in today. We have Philly tuning in. Aunt Jane's in Philly. Oh, awesome. Oh, look how pretty you did that. Yeah, this one's coming across really well. So I'm digging that. Nice. There we go. Okay. So we're just going to get a nice little... You know what else you could do? You could do one of these on the on the spear. Are you crazy? <laughs> you Come could. On. Art. Okay. I don't want to make this into an art project. I just want to drink it. I say I say <laughs> I say that now it's gonna turn into an art project. I know this. This is what's gonna happen for sure. <laughs> There we go. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Look at that. Oh, it look almost looks this. like a flower. Right? And we're just going to leave that baby in there. Look at this. There's no room for the soda water. Oh, yeah. You're supposed to top this off with soda water. <laughs> Hold on a second, guys. Let me dilute this. <laughs> That's why it's... But no, you're supposed to... It's supposed to have some bubbles to it. That's all it's supposed to have. That's all it needs. <laughs> all right, okay. There we are. Perfect. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't like to ruin cocktails. <laughs> Why don't y'all take a look at this? Look how beautiful this is. Yeah. Look at that. That turned out really nice. How awesome, huh? Up higher. Higher? Whoop. There you go. There you are. Up higher and I can get focuses. Look at that. There you go. There you go. Perfect. Yummy for the gram. Yep. Mm, yummy. All right. I already know what this is going to taste like. It's going to be delicious. I'm going to pound this thing. <laughs> the turmeric orange oh comes gosh. through so pretty. Oh, it does. So good. And like I said earlier, it it doesn't taste like grapefruit. 
I mean, you can get the, like, I really like the smell of grapefruit, mm -hmm. but I'm not a huge fan. It's primarily the bitterness, like that sour bitteriness of, of the grapefruit. And this doesn't have it at all. It's so smooth, so good, super fresh, really uh, floral and herbal, and, uh, and kind of you get a lot of spice notes, especially with the turmeric and the cinnamon. Mm. You know, I would, I would go to say this would probably make a for a really good warm cocktail too. Oh, like kind of winter time, really? You know, kind of like okay, go okay, with, okay. With this, right along with like your your uh, oh your spiced uh, ciders and stuff okay, like that. Yeah. So your spiced apple ciders or even uh, hot toddies and things like. If, if this was warm, it would be like right in that realm. So this is. That's a great way to, to look at it. This is kind of like a summertime uh, version of drinks like that. So if you like those, want something nice and cold and fresh, try this. Mm. Yep. We're making another one right now <laughs> because it is that. That's delicious. You know, right? Uh, but next Sunday. Oh, yeah. What do we uh, got going on? We're going to, it's my mom's birthday. Oh, we're gonna happy have, birthday. We're going to do a cocktail for her next Sunday. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. Am I going to be in town or out of town? In town. I'll be in town. Okay. So you guys will still have to put up with my smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky you. But anyways, I would really love for those of you who are tuning in today to uh, try this cocktail and let us know your thoughts. But also, if you have a like a favorite cocktail that is kind of a summertime, or I should say this, if you have a cocktail that is fantastic, both warm or hot and cold, I would love to hear from you. Uh, so that way I can try that as well. Consistency is key in that. <laughs> so can I, if I can just have, is it too much to ask for to want, have one cocktail that just serves all seasons? <laughs> I don't know. I'd like that tempted, please. <laughs> you know, I, I that'd be great. That would just be awesome. But uh, thank you again so much for joining us today on our happy hour with this freaking amazing drink. Yes. Um, next week, yes, it's uh, Dana's uh, mom's birthday. Yes. And we're going to be doing a little happy hour thing uh, with her. So her request is. Creamy and refreshing. So maybe we can dream up something with that coconut cream again. Oh, my. Maybe we'll just something that. We'll see. I don't, I don't know. know. Maybe we'll, we'll have, have to see. come up with, like, a cocktail ice cream. Oh. Maybe uh, uh, popsicles. Oh. I'm just spitballing here, guys. Just spitballing, <laughs> huh? huh? We'll have to play around with it. <laughs> hey. uh, you asked what what are what are some of people's uh, beverages that they like. Um, Mike Steyer had... An old fashioned last night at the cookout he was at. Oh, sweet. Thank you, Mike. Nice. That sounds delicious. Right? Could, I could literally go for an old fashioned year round. Yes. I'm yep. do that. That's a regular in our house, mm. old fashions. 100%. You know what's nice too is to change up the liqueur in it, or the liquor in it, not liqueur, liquor in it, and use a tequila, like a tequila old fashioned. Oh, yeah, or like smoke. Yeah. You really want to smoke to give. So we we were doing some smoked tequila old fashions, mm -hmm. and a lot of times that I find is drinks that have that smokiness and tequila together usually have uh, mezcal, mm -hmm. and I'm not a huge fan of mezcal. For some reason, it, it almost tastes and smells like a synthetic smoke to me. Mm -hmm. um, not just not a big fan. But anyways, we have a little cabinet smoker uh, little contraption there. And it was, uh, they so were good. amazing, so, so good. freaking good. So maybe we'll have to touch base on doing something like that. We'll have to do a blind taste test of, of a smoked old fashioned with that's actually smoked in a smoke box versus a smoked old fashioned with mezcal yeah. versus a smoked old fashioned with liquid smoke. <laughs> Whoa. This is quite the challenge. Wow, blind, blind taste test. Yeah. Yep. So we're gonna have to put that on the calendar. Yeah, for that, I'm definitely not making anything. I'm just gonna drink. 
<laughs> As my taste buds are the most astute taste buds. I mean, it, you do have astute taste buds. <laughs> they said they had um, they had wood fired pizza. They had smoked cocktails, a smoked old fashioned, along with wood fired pizzas. That I'm sounds awesome. With my <laughs> <laughs> sounds amazing, right? All righty. Well, anyways, round two is coming up. This one's going to be for Dana. Uh, again, thank you guys so much for joining us today. Hopefully you're having a wonderful weekend and the weather is bright and sunny and beautiful. Like it, like it just, the sun just kind of poked out a little bit ago. So we're going to have uh, Huxley over. That's yes. Bruce's sister. She's yes. going to be over in just a little bit. Little puppy play date. We're going to do some uh, kebabs. Skewers on the grill. Yeah, some kebabs and more stuff around the house. So <laughs> <laughs> hopefully we'll get a lot done today. But anyways. Appreciate you guys so much for joining us today, and we'll see you uh, next time here, 3.30 Pacific time for happy hour. All right? See you then.